today at Whakaroa Park, Ruatoria, is one of the greatest Maori assemblies of the century. Thousands gather for the presentation to Mr. and Mrs. Hamoera Ngarimo of the Victoria Cross, won by their son, Lieutenant Temuanoni Akiwa Ngarimo. The five and a half hour ceremony is a pattern of dance and song, lament and exultation. To the gathering come the old and the young. For the old, there are tribal memories to be lived again, tales to be told again, and for all, a new memory to be treasured. Today is proof that the warrior spirit still lives. <laughs> Hosts for the ceremony are the Ngati Poro, with Te Whanao Aafanui and associated tribes. Their guests have come from almost every native settlement in New Zealand, and by tradition, they must be given entertainment and food. For days, guests have arrived at the Marae, and every part in the district has sent food to be cooked in a great hungi of hot stones. The rain came too at times drenching rain, which threatened a postponement, but occasional sunshine saved the day. The rain squalls could not dampen the spirit of this gathering in honor of a hero, for here was an enthusiasm that had not been seen since the war took the young men away from the paths. While the sun shines, more wood can be cut for the fires and more food can be prepared. There are many to eat it. 8,000 Maoris and Pakehas have come to the ceremony, including men of the Maori battalion from Rotorua, Taranaki, Hawke's Bay, the South Island, and 300 schoolchildren from all over New Zealand. The billies are left to boil while the songs and dances go on. Tribe follows tribe on the stage, each making their contribution. In spite of the rain, in every marae, the traditional welcome to guests is given. And food is prepared. The rain cannot lessen the heat of the ovens, nor altogether extinguish the fires. The audience is prepared. According to East Coast etiquette, women have the right to speak on ceremonial occasions. An aunt of Lieutenant Ngarimo asserts that right. Her speech is translated. Children of the Maori race make their contribution too. Once Temoana Ngarimo was a pupil of a native school before going on to Teoti College. the day rain squalls continue but the rhythm of the songs and dances overcomes the weather. In the songs and hawkers of this ceremony is a tribal expression of exultation, pride in the deeds of one man who by his valor exemplified the battle skill of his battalion. Today tribal differences and old quarrels have been set aside. Lieutenant Ngarimo is regarded as belonging not to one tribe but to the whole Maori people. The 
ceremony also honors other individual members of the Maori Battalion, as well as Lieutenant Ngarimu. Decorations were presented to Lieutenant Colonels C.M. Bennett, F. Baker, and G.F. Bertrand, to Warrant Officer M.T. McRae, to Major Royal, to Captain W. Porter, and Lieutenant J.P. Tikao Barrett, who received them in person. But to receive from His Excellency the Governor-General the Victoria Cross won by their son come Mr. and Mrs. Hamoera Ngarimo. The decoration won by Lieutenant Ngarimo at Tobago Gap in Tunisia on March 26th is handed to his father. In making this award, His Majesty the King has said that he honours not only Lieutenant Ngarimo, but also his battalion and the whole of New Zealand. After the ceremony, Mr. Ngarimu thanks the Maori people and the people of New Zealand for the honour. Mrs. Ngarimu and I wish that Moana could be here to see the tribute paid to us and to all the Maori people because of what he did to win the Victoria Cross. He loved this country so well that he was glad to fight for it. We regret that he is not here personally to receive the honors bestowed upon him today. <laughs>